Hey, it's Josh back with another GMB optimization video. In my excitement over the Google My Business free website and optimizing that, I totally forgot to hit the services section inside your profile. So that's what we're gonna dig into in this video. So we briefly talked about this in the first video and I said I would go through it and then I forgot. So here we are, we're gonna talk about this uh, services tab. Services tab, directly it takes information directly from the categories that you chose er, in one of the earlier videos that we did. So for us, as you can see, this is still our primary category. And when you guys open this up, this is what this, um, you know what, let me, I'm gonna add a business category. I'm not gonna save this, but I'm just gonna show you guys what this looks like. So this is what it's going to look like the first time if you've never done this before, whether you're some kind of whatever kind of contractor you are or whatever kind of business you have, you're going to most likely find some pre-built options. And as soon as you click on these, all of a sudden these become your services. So you can click on whatever type of business you do, or whatever services you offer that Google, excuse me, already gives you. And that's what this looks like. So I've already done this. And I've already done it for all of the different um, services that we offer. So once you click inside of here, you can actually do some optimization. For instance, AC maintenance or AC tune-up. You can put a price in here. A lot of times I don't put a price in here. Um, however, this will show up on the knowledge panel if someone's looking for AC maintenance. That's part of the reason we don't. We want to drive traffic and get a phone call so we can convert them on the phone. So I don't like to put a price here. It's totally up to you. You want to put a price there or you want to put some kind of a special, uh, something like that. If I were, if we were doing like a $69 AC tune-up, maybe I would put that in there because that might drive some conversion being that it's a less expensive tune-up. So you got a couple options here. You can offer free if you're doing some kind of giveaway, a fixed price or starting from $69 or whatever it is. So I like to leave mine blank. You can do what you want with that. Service description, as you can see, 300 characters. Now these I would make sure that you add at least, so for instance, this is AC maintenance. I would add a air conditioner maintenance or air conditioning maintenance or AC tune-up or air conditioning tune-up or whatever your market calls that service. I would add something like that into, I would add that keyword into your description here. Don't spam it. However, I would say something along the lines of professional services offers world-class air conditioning maintenance services um, are 21 points safety and efficiency inspection uh, includes a free uh, emailed checklist on completion of service, something like that. Okay, um, again, normally I take more time to think about this stuff, but as I'm doing this with you guys and I'm kind of updating some of this stuff with you guys, I'm just going through quickly. So a couple things that you guys can do with that to keep in mind. You can certainly delete them if it's not a service you do. Other things you can do to optimize this and you can add custom services. So what I've done for this in the past is I've taken things such as, so we have AC maintenance listed. I will list AC tune-up. And I might, I might even add it twice and spell it two different ways as a keyword. And now again, save that. Once it's done spinning, it's got the circle of death here. There we go, AC tune-up. Um, let's say for instance, we have install heating system, which isn't necessarily a keyword that I think a lot of people would look for. So I would do furnace installation or furnace installer or furnace install, something like that. And add that as a service. So, and one thing, and I should, we're gonna go back to our original description here. I'm gonna show you what this does, especially if you have a couple categories that are like 
that have the same service, professional service offers, world, glass, AC, tune-ups. Keep it basic, save it. And now because the primary category and secondary categories, secondary categories both have AC maintenance, this will auto fill down here too. So you don't have to do this five or six times, you just have to do it once and completely optimize it. Again, something that uh, Relentless Digital does for our clients to make sure that we have that good foundation, but this is a, an important part of making sure that all of your services are selected. So Google knows when somebody types in a certain keyword or looks for a certain service, they know that you offer it and that's your type of business. So hopefully this was helpful. I will see you in now we're going to switch everything over to Google Local Services and I will see you in the next video.